Hey, do you like money? Are you a hot, virile male looking to get that girl? Were you a general in the Singapore Armed Forces? Well, well, get your trace together tokens and scan in for some onboard good old capitalism. Introducing OpenTDD. OpenTDD is a business simulation game in which players try to earn money by transporting freight and by road, rail, water, and air. It is an open source remake and expansion of the 1994 Chris Saw Year video game, Transport Tycho Deluxe. In OpenTDD, you can do things like build roads, railways, docks, ships. If you're a beginner, I suggest you play on a 256 by 256 map. They're put forwards, desert, or the outpark. Don't bother about the last one. I suggest, if you want to play the last one, I suggest you drink a couple of shots of luck. In order to understand what the fuck is going on in that world. But there is a tease. A hot and sexy Elon Musk is waiting for you. And the only thing stopping you from reaching him is that the border to Mars is controlled by the CCP. And that you need a 16 digit credit card number, your expiry date and your CV. Only then you will be able to wonder why Mars has battery plantations, toy shops, toffee quarries, and why Jack Ma is mining for sugar. Only then will you be able to explain or understand the intricate physics and biology of the galactic species of the town of the Great Malhaven. In the game, goods are king. You will make more money from goods than you will ever make them from passengers and mail. However, passengers and mail, they are very reliable source of income. Reliable in the sense that somehow, the people waiting for the bus and the train procreate in the pla on the platform, giving you more people, giving you extra cash, and overpopulating their small, insignificant piece of shit island. Also, if you want more quality of life functions, as you see in my game, you should download the LT Joker patch in the description. This patch will give you the ability to play the game like an actual transport system, with timetables and automatic vehicle separation. So, I suggest SMRT to take some notes from this game, learn from it, so that Minister Ong Ye Kong can stop having a brain hemorrhage every time the power goes out on the internet. Once you get the trains, once you get to the trains, the most important thing to note is the cost of maintenance. If you want to learn how to run SMRT, you should play this game. So you can become a god of math and digital inputs and outputs. This game is so simple, yet so complex that people have created basic computers using just the railways and signals. If you want more information, I will place a link to the description for tutorials by Master Hellish, who I think is one of the more prominent uh, players of this game. If you tell me, damn Remy, this game is so old, how is it any good? Then I suggest you, when you take your old level results, I suggest you put your eye next to a stapler and apply 20 newtons of force onto your face so they can see better and see that your O level LR5 is a double digit number. Then after the stable bullet is in your eye, I will tell you that there are new GRFs for this game. Wait, Remy, you mean mods? No, you are cultured zoom. <laughs> Open TTD ain't no need no mods. It's a strong and independent game. Actually, what OpenTDD has is over 1,000 plus new GRFs of game resource files, scripts, AIs, and maps, and a stable gameplay as compared to Piperkunk 2022. However, if you are a beginner, just ignore all those for now.
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this short video that I concocted a while back. Yeah, so in any case, I I apologize for not uh, I apologize for not uploading for around six months now, and I realized that I am not quite good at doing gameplay videos. So maybe this is the type of video that I'll do in the future forever. I guess. Yeah. If any of you all want any more questions about OpenTTD in general, I will be willing to answer them if I still remember how to play the game. Yeah, thank you and goodbye suckers.